if you have a workshop, you ought to have one of these. It's what we call an assembly table. It's a mobile platform which makes a wonderful bench on which to build, fit, glue. Uh, we don't paint out here, but uh, to assemble the piece that you've made in a place where you can move it if necessary. The casters can be uh, <coughs> frozen uh, once it's in position. And uh, that's done by <coughs> these jack casters, which are just held in place by these blocks of wood, which can be picked up. Now you can't move the table. There's a similar pair on that end. The top of the table is made of MDF, medium density fiberboard, and uh, it's easily available in lumber yards, not particularly expensive. And it's, um, this is the original top, so we've, we've used this now for more than 30 years, and uh, uh, it's got a couple of places where <clears throat> a saw has managed to score that, but uh, as you'll see, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's in pretty good shape. And it can be repainted and so forth. But here's what we really like about it. It's the same height as the saw. And that's important because uh, we can move it into position and we can uh, take the sheet goods, whatever that would be, big piece of plywood, and not have to worry too much about, you see how it goes from uh, table to table. And uh, now it's in position to go through the saw. If we were to wanted to rip a piece like this, we could set the rip fence and then we put the piece, just slide it across like that and arrange the jack casters so they're in the down position so the table won't move. And uh, now we're ready to make the saw cut without lifting. And uh, you can see how beautiful that is to, to work with. That's how Norm gets those great, perfect cuts every time. So the, uh, the table, the assembly table, is, is got the right surfaces on it. And uh, it's a great place to store these uh, smaller clamps these uh, squeeze clamps that uh, one can use to glue up small pieces. Uh, for something a little bigger, he's got another clamp cart, which is a larger uh, version. Uh, it's vertical, but it's serving uh, space. And it has various makers clamps that have uh, been sent to us or that we've acquired. And, uh, this can be moved into place so that it's easy to get to and easy to store. Clamp cart, assembly table. You ought to have one. When it came time to build an assembly table for the workshop, we decided to visit our colleagues at the WGBH Scenic Shop, where they build all the sets. Now, they want to have their work up high. They don't want to be working on the floor, so they have plenty of assembly tables. John Murphy is the head of the shop, and he's going to give us a tour. Hi, John. Hi, Norm. This is a big assembly table. It is. It's our, it's our main assembly table that uh, gets the most use. Made out of plywood, the top, two yep. layers. Yep. We've got it up on wheels because mm -hmm. everything in the shop needs to move around. And you've got a couple drawers here in the middle for uh, storage. Yeah, can't waste that space. Well, it's a little big for the New Yankee workshop. <laughs> Now, I see that you have dozens of these fold-up sawhorses all over the place. Yeah, that's, they're great for almost anything, but they don't move. Now, what's this project for? This is for a client that uses these for retail display that I believe they'll be hanging paintings in malls across the country. Hmm. Well, I certainly recognize this set. It's part of Zoom. <laughs> right. This, uh, this was just touched up and painted and is set to go into our studio in the next week for its fourth season. Oh, great. Now, this table is a little more the size that I might be looking for. Yeah, we, uh, we get great use out of these. We have six or eight of them, and we, we roll them around and use them as need be. Looks a little heavy. You've got heavy two-by-four yeah. frames, and it does move all the time. 
Yep, I You've, think it was made out of pretty much what was sitting around. Uh -huh. You have homosote on top of the plywood. Right, for our router operation, save the bits a little bit. Well, you know, I'm a little disappointed. I thought I'd see some, <laughs> you know, high-tech design of tables. <laughs> Can I interest you in the new and improved table sure, version? Sure, sure. All right. Ah, this looks uh, interesting and much yeah. lighter. Yeah, same size again. We like this, this sort of basically four-ish by six-ish mm -hmm. size. Uh, MDF on the top of this one? Yep, yeah, or, or whatever. Again, a replaceable top. Uh -huh. Let me see what's underneath here. Wow, this sort of looks like a hollow core door. Yep, exactly. It's a little thicker version of it. We glue a thin skin of ply on one side and the top and uh, that resists twisting in uh, the tabletop. And the frame is plywood also? Correct. So it's like a stress skin panel. That's exactly what it is. Legs are just made out of three-quarter inch plywood. Mm -hmm. You have a stretcher on the side here. And mm -hmm. What's this mechanism? Well, that's here? the new and improved part. We love the tables that roll around, but we added this feature so you can get them off of their wheels as well easily. Oh, look at that. So the casters are bolted to this piece of plywood that's hinged, and you mm -hmm. have these jacks that when you lift up on the table, they just fall into place by gravity. Yep. Very clever. Now, how about the height? Well, we try and keep the height the same as the major tools in the shop so mm -hmm. that we can use these not only as workbenches, but uh, runoff tables or feed tables uh -huh. or side feed tables. So the idea is just bring it up to the same right. level or as close as you can. Yep. I don't see any pneumatics or electrics attached to it. No, it's the low tech is good tech. We mm -hmm. like them simple. Well, look, uh, do you mind if I steal some of these ideas for the one we built at the workshop? Well, that's exactly how we got this idea, so I'd be more than happy to pass it on to you. Great. I appreciate it. Okay. It's neat.